Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, in this part of our series on um, uh, cryptography with some prior videos and um, as we talk about different topics that we do in our cybersecurity competitions at Ferris State University, we often uh, do image analysis or uh, metadata of images, um, often referred to as EXIF data. So I'm Dr. Jerry Emmerich at Ferris State University. Um, within their information security and intelligence program. Um, so let's get to it. Let's talk about uh, EXIF metadata analysis of images, why we do it, and what it is. So this is a, 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 a common digital forensics um, activity where images are taken from a digital device like a phone or a laptop and they are analyzed um, as part of evidence to support a crime investigation. So we may take uh, images from a particular time frame or um, of a particular subject and uh, look closely at those images to see if um, uh, where the picture was taken, who took the picture, um, the date and time the picture was taken, uh, so on and so forth. So we're going to kind of practice that a little bit um, in this video and within the competition. So metadata is a term that's often used in computing um, uh, curriculum and computer science and it's really data about data. So the actual data in this case is the image itself, all the the pixels that make up the image. The metadata, the data about the data, again is like okay where was this picture taken, uh, what device, who took it, what was the date and time. Those that is data as well and it's not data that actually you know changes the image in any way it's it's data about the data information or data about the image so metadata and when we talk about images this is often referred to as EXIF data um, so here I have a um, an example of uh, looking at metadata on my phone okay this is a picture of some friends of ours and um, you can look at this on this particular image is from an iPhone and um, this is just some of the metadata that our iPhone um, will display for us about uh, an image. So it tells us the size, the date the image was created, um, last viewed um, on the um, uh, on the device so far you know and the device make so this was taken on an Apple iPhone and if we were to continue to look at the metadata we would see the geographic coordinates the latitude and the longitude of where the picture was taken so that the investigator uh, could determine if this picture you know was relevant to the crime being investigated was it at a location um, that, that was of interest okay so um, in our competition I recommend that you um, take note of this site, exif.regex.info. This is a free um, web-based utility where we can upload an image, an image file, uh, such as a GIF, a JPEG, a PNG file, and uh, this site will display the metadata uh, that's available. So we're going to use that, and then we'll also use maps.google.com to take the latitude and longitude data that's found, uh, discovered here through this tool, and plot that on a map to determine where the picture was taken. All right. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we're going to go over this more in a separate video. But this is a, a quick preview of the system that we're currently using um, during our competitions. So um, there's a clock here. We, I don't have a, an actual game running right now, so, uh, but otherwise you would see like a countdown. Um, and then there's a leaderboard that shows who has currently uh, scored the most points, activity, points being scored by different teams. And the game board itself is represented as a map of the world with each country uh, being a challenge. So here I'm going to roll over Finland. I know Finland is, has a challenge that I like and I can see that this is an easy challenge and it's related to EXIF. So it's related to the topic we're talking about. If I was to roll over a different country like the United States I see this is a, a difficult or a hard cryptographic challenge. Australia 
uh, is a medium cryptographic challenge. Japan is just a warm-up question, so I just wanted to quickly score some points. Maybe I start there. Um, here's an easy crypto challenge in Oman. Okay, but let's go to Finland. So I'm going to click Finland. And here's my challenge. Use the image file located at this address. Use the tools, uh, exif.regex, that's the tool I was just talking about, to answer this question. And the question is, what year was the picture taken? So what I would do is someone participating in this game is I would copy this URL. All right, and I would copy that over to a browser. And this is a picture of me and my wife somewhere. Um, and I'm just going to save that image. So I right clicked on the image, save image as, and I'm going to save that to my downloads folder. All right, so now it's in my downloads folder. And I already have that regex tool open, exif.regex.info. But what I would do here is I would um, choose the file. All right, and tell the web page I'm not a robot. I need to find all the chimneys. Hopefully, I can do that. Uh, looks like there's one in that photo. Hopefully, that's good. And then view the image data. Okay, so sometimes that takes a couple minutes. I had already uploaded this photo though. And then we see the photo, and then what we see listed here is all of the EXIF data or the metadata. What kind of camera? Well, this was taken a while ago, so it was a 7 Plus. Um, there was no flash on. It was taken on May 17th, 2018. Here is the location data. So I'm going to highlight this latitude and longitude and do my Control C or Command C to copy that. Um, and there's additional information about the um, uh, file down here. Quite a bit of quite a bit of information. Okay, more than we actually need for this challenge. So the question over here was what year was the picture taken? Well, we can see that the picture was taken in 2018. So for this particular challenge, I would enter 2018 and click submit. Right now the game isn't actually running but we would be able to enter it here and then click submit. Again we'll go over more details of this game board and how to interact with the challenges in a separate video. Okay what I want to do now though is I want to focus in on this location data. Let's say that the challenge asked us to determine the city um, or the street okay or the attraction um, where the uh, um, image was taken. Well we can take this latitude and longitude, copy it out. Okay, I'm using Command C but we can also just click copy here. And then go to maps.google.com and just paste that in. Okay, paste in that latitude and longitude and it shows us exactly where that picture was taken or pretty doggone close. Alright, so if we zoom out here we can see that, ah, we're in the city of Paris, okay? Nice, right? So we're in France, we're in the city of Paris. So if the question asks us what city was this taken in, we'd enter in Paris, right? If we're asked what attraction we are at, well, what is the attraction near here? Well, the Eiffel Tower, right? So that could be the uh, the answer to, to, to that question. Um, you know, we could also use Street View, to take a look at what is on that street um, if the question was more you know specific all right so Google Maps and uh, Jeffrey's EXIF meta viewer um, are two tools that we can use to answer a lot of questions about image analysis um, or, the, or the metadata related to an image other uh, also known as EXIF data All right, so we demonstrated that. You could also here, um, I, bro I browsed to a file back in uh, Jeffrey's image metadata viewer, but you can also just copy the URL and paste that in um, right from the question as opposed to um, using the URL to download the photo and then upload the photo using the file browse. I could have just put in the URL. That would have been a little easier and quicker. Okay.
and we showed that. So that concludes our discussion about EXIF data analysis. There's a lot more to learn in all these categories, but you know we're just kind of um, getting the basics and getting you hopefully enough information that you need to be successful in the competition. So make note of those two sites that we used, Jeffrey's Image Data Viewer and uh, maps.google. Add that to your list of tools so that when you uh, hit the competition, um, you'll, be, you'll be ready. Um, we'll see you in the next video series.